Today with our multiplication, we're going to be looking at the multiplication algorithm. An algorithm is something that you can follow every single time and get the correct answer. So this algorithm, uh, it doesn't matter if there are a hundred digits in each of these numbers, we could follow this pattern that comes in the algorithm and get it correct. So, um, we'll be looking over just basic multiplication. The steps that you can follow each and every time to get it correct. Okay, first off, I want to start just 76 times 9. Every time when we're starting following this algorithm, we're going to start right in the bottom right. Okay, every time, it's just how we do it. Then we just do, we multiply by the 1's column. So 9 times 6 is 54. We know that 5 and 4 can't fit into the same place in place value. So we put the 4 down, and then we carry the 5. We carry the 10's up and over. Now as we do 9 times 7, we do 9 times 7 plus those 5. Okay, and that equals 63 plus 5 is 684. Okay, so the basic logarithm, 2 by 1, we simply start here, multiply the 1's, and then multiply this by the tens, and we get that, and we'll look at it a little bit deeper here. Okay, now 76 times 9 is the exact same as 9 times 76. However, as you'll see, there is one way that's easier to do it. So we start right here. We do 6 times 9, which is 54. Okay, now on the other one, we were basically already done, but because we're doing it this way, and now we start once we've multiplied all the digits by this first one in the ones column, then we go to the tens. Because this seven actually means 70, and we're multiplying that nine by 70, we put a zero there. We don't put an X, we don't leave it blank, we put the zero. So we are timesing that nine by 70. And seven times nine is 63. 70 times nine is 630, and that's what we get right there. And then, after we've done our multiplying, we add 0 plus 4, or 4 plus 0, 5 plus 3, okay, equals 684. So as you can tell, same answer, because it's the same problem, um, this one requires more work. So if you see the opportunity, make it more like this, so there's only one digit on the bottom one. Okay, let's continue. 2 by 2, and then also 3 by 2 is as high as we'll go in 5th grade. We start right here, 8 times 4 is 32, we put the 1's and we carry those 3 10's, because now 8 times 3 is 24, plus those 3 10's is 27. Now this 2 actually stands for 20, so I write the 0 right there, then do 2 times 4 is 8, actually it's 20 times 4 which is 80, and then 2 times 3 is 6. Once we have that, we simply add the remainders. 7 plus 8 is 15. Bring up the 1. 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Okay, next, 7 times 8, because we always start right here. 7 times 8 is 56. Bring the 1's down. Carry the 10's. 7 times 5, or 50, is 35. Plus 5 is 40. 7 times 1 is 7. Plus 4 is 11. Bring that right there. Bring down the 0. 3 times 8 is 24. Make sure to just scribble those out so that you don't get mixed up there. 24. Now 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2, 17. And 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. And then we add 58, 40. There you go. Basic multiplication algorithm.